really what we're talking about is uh, ownership. And the thing is, Bitcoin is its own self-contained system. So normally when we talk about ownership in the world, what we're really talking about is legal ownership. Or what does the ultimate authority in your local jurisdiction consider to be the true owner of any given asset? And then, you know, how can you use various tools and the legal system and justice system to have recourse in case your claim to property ownership is somehow violated? Bitcoin doesn't care about any of that. You know, Bitcoin doesn't care about legal systems, nation states, whatever. Bitcoin only cares about whether or not you can cryptographically prove to the network that you have the ability to spend certain entries from the blockchain. So if you really want to say that you own Bitcoin, my <laughs> claim is that having ownership claims to Bitcoin at a third party, whether that's through an ETF or through an exchange, some other custodian, while you can have legal claims to that Bitcoin, it's not going to be very helpful to you if you end up in some sort of rug pull or bankruptcy situation or a million other things that can go wrong where you, you ask to take ownership or you ask to be able to use those essentially IOUs, those claims to Bitcoin. And for some reason, for whatever reason, the counterparty does not follow along with your request. So if you have your private keys to your Bitcoin, as long as you're following the rules of the Bitcoin protocol, you can move that money around, spend it, do whatever you want, as long as you're following the protocol and you don't have to ask permission from a third party. You don't have a counterparty that can refuse or deny those claims.